What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Of course, we're going to be talking about Elemental Hero Great Tornado, the newest Elemental Hero monster, fusion monster that we got in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links from, what's this box called again? Tornadoes of Phantom. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, as always, be sure to go hit that like button down below. Without further ado though, let's get onto this deck list. So I'm going to say, after playing this deck for a while, this deck can get some wins, but it does lose a lot. Like, this isn't like the greatest deck of all time, but I'm going to be honest, when I do actually want to duel with this deck though, it is so satisfying so i'm gonna go break down what choices i made with this deck there's probably some changes i could make and there's probably some better combos out there but for what i built this is my build right here and i'm gonna be honest the mvp of this deck and what really gets this deck going is definitely elemental hero blaze man so this card has a lot of stuff to talk about first of all if this card is normal or special somebody can add a polymerization from your deck to your hand so that's pretty cool right there and then also we have a secondary effect that we can use with blaze man during your main phase you can activate this effect you can now special summon monster for the rest of the term except fusion monsters also send one elemental hero monster monster from your deck to the graveyard except elemental hero blazeman and if you do this card's attribute attack and defense will each become the same as this monster sent to the graveyard till the end of the turn the thing to keep in mind though about elemental hero blazeman though is that you only can use one elemental hero blazeman effect per turn and only one set per turn so there's a lot of things this card can do so first of all if you normal summon it you can add a polymerization from your hand that's really good but the effect we're going to be using the most is honestly the mill effect where we can mill one of our elemental hero monsters into the graveyard to make blazeman have that same attribute and attack because once we do we can get miracle fusion going so if we open up a hand with Blaze Man or Miracle Fusion, we can go for a lot of combos and we can summon into our Elemental Hero Gaia or the main monster of today's video, Elemental Hero Great Tornado. Like I said with that, like one combo you can do is that you can summon Blaze Man, don't activate its first effect, um, then activate its second effect during your main phase, mill Avion to the graveyard, and then combo uh, Miracle Fusion with Blaze Man and Avion to go into Great Tornado. Really cool combo right there, and it's one of my favorite combos, so literally blaze man is the key to this deck and that's why i have three copies of this card technically i did get two copies of this card free to play because just because to say f it i used my sr dream ticket on blaze mix and didn't feel like spending the extra cast i didn't really know what else to spend my sr blade um you know dream ticket on i probably could have went for a hatred aid or something like that but i don't really like using those cards that much anymore i've been against using anti back row cards i've been just living and dealing with back row stuff right there just deal with it man that's kind of been my mentality so maybe i should have just spent my sr dream ticket on it but that's what i did got three copies of blaze man right there so I only spent a little bit of money to um, get my third copy of Blazeman. But for free-to-play players, max you're going to be able to get is only two copies of that. And I probably would stay away from using your SR Dream Ticket on Blazeman, but you do you. Next up, though, we're running three copies of a Captain Gold. This card's cool because you can discard this card um, to the graveyard and add a Skyscraper to your hand. And if Skyscraper's not face up on the field, destroy this card. So one good thing about Captain Gold is the fact that you can discard it to send it to the graveyard. So that works in multiple ways. One, with this guy in the graveyard, you can use it as a fusion material for Miracle Fusion, which is really nice. And um, if this card's in the graveyard, it will help you out with activating your miracle draw which if you guys didn't know already if you have an elemental hero monster in your graveyard your normal, normal draw in your third draw phase will become pot of green and pot of green you can draw two cards it's so epic so that's cool right there. If you don't guys have Miracle Draw, I would recommend running Fusion Time or Miracle Fusion Time. Especially if you don't have a lot of copies of Miracle Fusion, run Miracle Fusion Time if you can get it. This skill is not event only. You can get this from grinding the game. Miracle Draw, though, is, um, you know, a thing that you only can get from a certain event. So keep in mind about that. Next up, we have three copies of Elemental Hero Wild Heart. This card is unaffected by trap effects, and you can use it for material for Elemental Hero Gaia. Originally, this deck list was actually for Elemental Hero Core, but due to the introduction of Great Tornado, I decided to add a copy of Avion into this build. So so we can get that going so that's cool right there and of course we have avion for fusion target for uh, your boy great tornado next up we have two copies of miracle fusion i have two copies of this card finally so i'm going to be able to at least build and do some memes with this deck but maybe i'll consider running a miracle fusion time instead in the future next up we have one copy of skystraper for a captain gold two copies of um enemy controller two copies of polymerization two copies of a canadia and one copy of floodgate trap hold pretty cool right there next up we have one copy of great tornado two copies of gox i have two copies of this one copy of elemental hero core and one copy of trinity if you guys have elemental hero nova master though definitely run that card in this deck because you can use blaze man as fusion material for um for elements of hero nova master sorry about that right there so yeah that's pretty much it for this deck let's let's go hop into the live duels and see what happens first player we're going against in today's video is canada jpeg nani Nah, me Canada JPEG. What a what a weird name. And like that's a weird but interesting name. Canada JPEG. I guess so. And that mat looks fucking sexy. And that's from the event right there, that's for sure. Okay, this is a cool hand. So we can actually go for our Avion combo right away, which is nice. So we're not gonna add Polly. What we're gonna do is that we're going to mill our Avion and literally pass turn. We're just gonna pass turn right here. No reason to do any shenanigans. 
Let's see what this Mako has, because if, he, if he's playing Sedale Whale, I'm going to go just... Because I hate Sedale Whale so much. I honestly do. I don't like Sedale Whale at all. Like, no no offense to my boy YT Dan and his Mermail Sedale Whale shenanigans, but god damn it, I hate that deck. I don't like that whale at all. Anyways, what does this guy do? Okay. Once during your main phase, normal summon. Okay. We got some shenanigans going on here. Yep. Why does Konami hate me? I'm going to be honest, okay, boys. I tried to record this live duel, like, a couple times today. And it, it's not fun. Like, I've been trying to, like, get some epic live duels in today's video. And I've just been having the worst luck. I'm going to activate my Floodgate and see what happens. But I don't think it's going to go through. Oh, it does because he didn't get Yumi out. That's dope. Now, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work out, though. Captain Gold, though. That's cool. Because, like, what? Because, yeah, what does Sea Self Attack say? Doesn't it work on face down? I don't have any back row moving shit either, so it's like. You can banish if your battles, the original is five or higher than opponent's monster. Oh, okay. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate Skyscraper. We're going to pop our Miracle Fusion. We're going to Tornado. And we're gonna go for the banish of these boys. Going for this. And next up we're gonna do, we're gonna go into Captain Gold. Captain Gold will gain some um, attack points with Skyscraper. So we're gonna do that, boom. And then 2800 damage right there. Cool. So far looking good. This guy still has two cards, so he's gonna draw into another card. He can easily get out to Dale well out, but um, we did get some good damage off, which I'm happy about. Okay, summons into that. You are able to... Okay, oh, yeah, we... God damn, I hate this whale so much. I do not like Sedale Whale at all. God damn it, man. He's going to be able to get it back out with Cyborg Planner. Or Fishboard Planner. Oh, man, dude. I hate Sedale Whale so much. Like, I really want this card to be deleted from Duel Links. Every time I go against this stupid whale, I always lose. I, oh, man, I hate this Sedale Whale so much. Or Citadel Whale. I hate it so much. I'm surprised that it... Wait. Why didn't you kill my Captain Gold? Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? I'm genuinely confused right now. We're going to go for our Pot of Greed, though. Double Wild Heart. That's awesome. Okay. So he's not affected by a Wild Heart or whatever. So we're going to we're just going to go swing and see what happens. See Stealth. You got to banish your Water Boy. Oh, what? I thought it said five or higher. Uh, if your monster's original level is fire higher, destroy the opponent's monster. Huh. You can banish one of my monster control. What? Oh, so the way that whale does that. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know, man. This stupid whale pisses me off. And sadly, Wildheart doesn't have 1550, so there's that right there. That sucks. I, uh, <laughs> I don't like this whale at all, man. Fishboard Planner is going to come through. Gonna go, wow. Gonna go into that. You get to summon another Citadel Oil? Because it's special summonable? No? Okay. Um, yo, you wanna hear it be a fucking meme? I wonder. Econ would be cool. Blaze Man, that's cool. Eh, we can go into Polly if we wanted to. I mean, here's the thing. We can go into Polly and go into Gaia, but what is the, what good is it gonna do? What, what, what is it gonna do that's gonna be good for us? That's the, that's the problem. Must be special, must be fusion summon, cannot be special summon. By the way, it's starting to face up. Yeah, so, but like, here's the thing. Start damage step. You can do that. God, CSL attack's so annoying, man. And this deck doesn't have any back removal, so. That sucks right there. I mean, I want to just go thin out my deck and go for, um. Uh, I'll add a poly to my hand, I guess. I guess, just to have it. Just to have it, I guess. I'm not feeling good about this duel, though. Definitely not feeling good about this duel. I just hate the whale so much, man. Like, this whale's so annoying to go against. It pisses me off to no end. Also, the reason why I'm so salty right now is because I tried to record this video a couple times already. I tried to record this video twice now, trying to get some decent live commentary duels. And my luck has been very bad today. It really has. I mean, from a combination of me misplaying all the time, because um, I'm just a bad duelist, and just a combination of going against these annoying decks... I said in my deck list, I said in my deck list that um, this, this deck isn't the craziest deck in the world because it isn't, but would be nice to get some dubs. 
I think the only way I can possibly win this is if I draw to Econ and then I switch. Well, no, even if I do get Econ, he just fucking yeets this sea self attack. God dang it, man. Okay, once per turn, you can banish, you control the end phase of this turn. Spawn trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by opponent card effect, even though this card leaves the field. It's like, yeah, it's like, so even if I Canadia him, even if I Canadia him, it doesn't matter, because he can keep, like, if I can't take out sea self attack and I just fucking lose, that's not epic. Oh, man. Citadel Whale, I don't like you. I don't want this card to get deleted from Duel Links. I hate that. I, I hate Citadel Whale so much. Well, this guy's a prismatic mermail. That's cool. That's epic. That doesn't change the fact that I think Citadel Whale should be banished from this game. Because that's like... I, I, should, I should honestly do like a top 5 video soon on like the cards that I hate the most in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I, I probably should, because, like, I, I hate I hate Citadel Whale with a strong passion. Buster Blader's a deck that I can never win against. Buster Blader. I don't think I hate Buster Blader as much as Citadel Whale. I still hate... I still do not like Buster Blader, though. He, Buster Blader would probably be in my top five. But, like, Citadel Whale, that's, 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 pretty, that's up there. That's definitely up there. Come on already, Mako. You're taking too long. Kill me already. I don't want to go against you, because you're a fucking bully. This deck has no back row. Um, thing. I'm gonna be honest, like, I could throw some back row removal in this deck, I really could, but like, my luck, it, like, it's like, if I throw back row removal in my decks, then I don't go against decks that use back row. It, it never works out for me, so I always just go, just back row only, so, there's that right there, but yeah, Citadel Whale, super annoying card to go against. Let's go on to the next duel, though. Salty Splatoon Watt 007. Salty Splatoon Watt 007 here. Look at that ucky, ucky, ucky deck. I don't like that deck. Okay, let's see if we have some better luck in the second duel. Going against someone called CTA, full belt and king of games, pretty cool. Going against a Jack Atlas, that's awesome. I want to make a Red Dragon Archfiend deck um, for you guys. I have a couple combos in mind that I can do to easily summon into Red Dragon Archfiend, so that's probably going to be my next rank PB video if things work out. We're going to go for Blazeman, though. We're going to go for Blazeman and add Poly to hand. It's like, I want to Poly right now, I really do, but we're just going to pass turn. We're literally just going to pass turn. That's what we're out here for. We're just gonna pass turn. Sets card. Sets another card. Sets a monster. And it's turned. Okay. Another wild heart. So, I think what my plan is, is that first we're gonna mill a monster. Might as well. Let's mill Captain Gold. Yeah, I mean, that's literally the only one we can go for. Okay. Next up, we're gonna go for a uh, polarization. We're gonna go for a um, polarization right here, and I really want to go in the core of Trinity right now. I really do, but like we don't get much value out of core right now, so we're going to Avion and we're going to Wild Heart and go into our Great Tornado. Swirl up a storm, Great Tornado. Very epic. Next up, we're gonna go into Wild Heart, and I'm gonna hope that monster is weak. And this is probably a Red Resonator. That'd be my guess. Actually, that's probably what it is. This place sounds probably a red resonator. No, it's Gusto. Okay, so the, yeah, you're going to be able to special summon another card from your hand, which is going to be annoying. So we're definitely not killing this guy yet. Because, and then this one searches for... Yeah. Wow. Dude, Gustos don't die. Yeah, and then you just summon that. Wow, that's annoying. Gustos don't die. I remember someone in my Discord were saying that uh, Gustos are really good against OTK decks, and I can see why. You can just keep back and forthing between pill. Damn. Yo, Gustos. Gustos don't mess around. Gustos literally don't mess around. Fuck. That's not good. We're going to have some issues coming up soon, that's for sure. We're definitely going to have some issues coming up soon. Bum bum. And it, dude, that back row is threatening too. The only reason why I didn't activate them was because Gustos can keep just milling themselves out. Wow. Great Tornado's dead. Great Tornado is dead. He does take a thousand damage though, which is convenient for us, but with his board control, I don't think life points are going to matter in this duel because he has some good board control right now. He's two cards in hand, two face downs, a couple monsters right there. Oh, okay. Well, we got Tricky out. Let's see. Let's see if this guy can do an OTK shenanigans right here. Ooh, Mistworm. He's going to be returning cards to our hand. Now, is he able to summon another monster? I don't know. 
This also sucks that our materials are removed because I would have really liked to go. I would have really liked to go into um, um, Miracle Fusion. And we might be fine. Let's go into Miracle Draw, though. Potter Greed! Potter Greed. Ooh, Skyscraper. Okay. Um, okay, so this is what we're gonna wanna do. We're gonna summon Blaze Man. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna summon Blaze Man. Add Polly to hand. And we're gonna go for Core, because Core is a floater now because we have Great Tornado in the graveyard. So we're gonna go for a Polarmization. And we're gonna go into our um, uh, Great Hero Core. We could go for Trinity, but I wanna go for Core for the floating capabilities. So we're just gonna, we're literally gonna use all of our fusions up right here. All of them are going to the graveyard right now. We're gonna go for Elemental Hero Core right here. We're gonna activate Skyscraper in case we have some sort of wall of disruption. And we're gonna start swinging. We are gonna start swinging against this Mistworm. Okay, he got Canadia right there. That's a problem. Um, that means we're gonna pass turn because Skyscraper's not gonna give us enough attack with a uh, Blaze Man. Um, right there. And I was about to say I should have used Blaze Man's effect to get him to 2100 attack, but I remember that I used the polymerization for that, so couldn't really do anything about that. What's this guy gonna do? Okay. I mean, that's fine because I can get Tornado out. The only issue is, though, is that he's most likely gonna have another card to get rid of my uh, Tornado. At least we use Core effectively, though, which is nice for what it's worth. Now, do I have... Okay. Okay, sweet. So, we're going to have a better chance to get rid of this Mistworm this turn. Hopefully, that's the case. We got Blazeman right here. Let's go attack with Blazeman. He got... Ooh. I mean, at least we get rid of his monsters. Yeah, might as well. Let's just get rid of Canadia. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter, because they just don't die. Okay, that sucks. Good thing we have Canadia, though, to flip down his Mistworm if needs be. This guy is persistent. He is super persistent. No, we are keeping our fucking cards on the board. We are keeping our cards on the board. Econ, that's pretty good, actually. Let's mill... Okay, we can't mill our deck anymore. I'm going to save Econ. I don't feel like using it. Let's attack with Great Tornado. Get rid of that stupid Mistworm. Got another Canadia, friend? You do. You do have another Canadia. Of course you do. On the bright side, though, we got our own Canadia. We're going to be able to get rid of his Canadia right there. Which is always nice. Yeah. We're going to go attack with Blaze Man. Get rid of that. And then attack with that right there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Bum, 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 bum. And we won right there. That's pretty cool. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm debating if I should do another duel. Because uh, part of me doesn't want to make the video way too long. I don't want it to be over 20 minutes. But at the same time, we did only get two duels in. So we're going to go for another duel. I'm going to guess this video is going to be around 25 minutes long this go around. But GG's to this guy. I think Gustos do have potential. I don't know. I think this deck does have potential. This is a pretty cool deck. I, I can appreciate this build right there. So that's pretty cool right here. We're going to go one more duel in today's video. Don't want to make it too long. But at the same time, we only did do two duels in this recording. So let's do the last duel today. So scratch that. I'm actually not going to do a third live duel um, in today's video. I went against, in the third live duel today's video, I went against another Citadel Whale um, player. And yeah, of course, I lost against that because they summoned Citadel Whale like first turn. And, you know, my deck doesn't have any back row removal. So Z Stealth Attack literally killed me. And that was a rip right there. So we're going to wrap up the video right here. Final verdict on my Elemental Hero deck. It's fun. I got a good amount of wins with this deck before, and it was a ton of fun to pop off, summon a bunch of e-hero monsters, and go from there. But my deck is not optimal against most of the other decks in the King of Games, so I'm going to have to give that one a dislike. I'm still going to keep playing this deck. I think in my next Duel Room stream, if I do ever do one of those again, um, I will play my e-hero deck, because I personally enjoy playing the e-hero deck, because it's so much, it's like so rewarding to win with it. But of course, it definitely falls flat against a lot of things. So yeah, take it as you will. Hope you guys still enjoyed this video nonetheless, so that one Duel again 
against Jack was awesome. Um, and my dual replays were pretty cool too, because I got some pretty cool uh, wins with that. So I still hope you guys enjoyed today's video though. Do I recommend playing my deck though? Probably not. You can go search uh, online and see some other people build some other um, Elemental Hero decks, because I only I built mine from scratch. I didn't look at any other YouTube videos to see what uh, people were building, so keep that in mind right there. But if you guys enjoyed, as always, be sure to go hit that like button down in the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content or other content from me, because I'm going to probably, in the future, I'm probably going to start doing some other types of content, so keep be aware of that. And also, another couple things too, if you guys want to, you can join my Discord, link in the description down below, and last but not least, if you want to support me as a content creator, you can do so as joining as a YouTube member. $5 a month, and you get to support me as a content creator. Seriously though, thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. I'll go see you guys in the next video. Peace.